Hello. Ma! Ma! Wait, where am I? Is that? That's it. Okay, that's where I am. Hello, it's Thursday, and this week I'm feeling a little shellfish. So continuing on from the little octopus we made last week, I've gone ahead and I've designed a little clam, and then we're also working on a lobster as well. So today I'm going to show you how to make this little clam. Now remember, if you like this pattern, you can find plenty more like it just over on my channel. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into tools and materials. So what you're going to need to make your clam is 100% acrylic yarn, that is eight ply, and you're going to need three different colors for that. You're going to need a clam color and two colors for your shell, some pins and needles, and you'll note that my pin cushion is still all dressed up from Amigurume, which I am doing over on Instagram, so you can check that out. There's a link in the description. Your 3.5 millimeter hook, some scissors, a pair of five to eight millimeter safety eyes. I'm finding that uh, the labeling of eyes can be very non-reliable, but just a, a smaller pair of eyes. You are going to need a weight for the base of your clam. Now this is optional. I'm just using an old washer and uh, it just will help your clam sit up a little bit better. And you're going to need something for the pearl. My craft box actually let me down for the first time. I had no nothing pearlescent or orb like. So I have painted a 21 millimeter safety eye with white acrylic and coated it in glitter. And that is what I'm going to be using for my pearl today and some stuffing, but that's it. Okay, so first up, we're going to be making the top part of the shell. Now it is comprised of an outer piece and an inner piece. And uh, we give it this wavy lip and we're gonna be stitching on a bit of detail as well. So now to make each of the curves of the clam, we are going to single crochet, skip the next two stitches and put six double crochet into the next one. Skip two stitches again, put a single crochet in, and then slip stitch. And repeat that five times around the rim of the shell. So now that that's done, uh, we've got this little wavy chompy piece, which is our top. And what I'm going to do is using my accent color, I'm going to attach into the stitch before that first single crochet that we did on that loop. So there is the six double crochet that we did. That is the first single crochet. And so I'm going to attach in this stitch here with a slip stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch again, then single crochet. Then we're going to do four half doubles, which is when you yarn over, insert your hook through the stitch, Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So that's a half double there. And we're gonna do four of those across the top of these stitches. And then I'm going to single crochet in the last double crochet from the previous round. And I'm going to slip stitch into the next one. And so that is sort of the first part of our lip. Now we're going to skip the slip stitch from the previous round, which is that one there, and just slip stitch into the next one. Like that. And we're gonna repeat that until we've done all five. So having finished off, I'm just now weaving my tails into the inside of the shell so that they can be tucked away nicely. That. So that is roughly what your top clam shell piece looks like at the moment. And now we are just going to stitch on a few more decorations onto the top. So I'm going to start on one end. I'm just going to do a little stitch to lock my yarn in place. Just like that. Now I'm going to identify where that magic ring is and I'm going to 
basically trace a straight line between our starting point and where the magic ring is. And not going through the center, but going through like one stitch out. I'm just gonna thread that needle through there again. And give us that nice line. I'm gonna lock it in place with a little stitch on the inside. And poke my needle back through one more stitch over. And we're gonna go down to the next sort of little up place. I'm gonna insert my needle through that slip stitch that we didn't end up stitching through. We're gonna do a little stitch to lock it in place. Make sure that you're not pulling too tightly. We don't wanna bow it. We just want it to sit nice and flat across the top of the shell. Okay, so I'm gonna feed my needle through along the inside until I'm out the next little down dip. And I'm gonna put a little stitch in place to lock it in. Now you can decorate this shell however you like. This is just one suggestion that I'm making. And once again, up through the middle. And we're gonna basically just repeat that process for three more lines. I'm just going to finish that off. So there is the finished top of our clamshell. You can of course go through and add as many other details as you would like to, but that is where I'm going to be leaving mine. So now we are just going to make the lower outer shell. Okay, so we have the top of the shell and we have the bottom of the shell. Now you can tell the difference in case you get them mixed up because the bottom has four curly bits and the top has five. So they sit together nicely just like that. See, just like that. Okay, so we're just gonna pop those to one side now. So the next pieces we're gonna make are the inner shell. So there's an inner shell at the top and there is an inner shell at the bottom. So we're gonna be making those now. That's the inside of the top piece. Now for the bottom piece, you basically make it the exact same way. It's just instead of doing five, you do four. Just like this. So the written instructions on the screen will, will remind you of that, don't worry. So now we have both of our internal shells and we have both of our external shells. So we're gonna stop and we're gonna do a little bit of assembly. So I'm gonna start by grabbing my bottom shell and I'm gonna grab the inside piece with four of the little curls on it. We're just going to line each one of those curls up with one of the ones on the outside. Just like that, pop it there, and then we'll do the same thing for the top. There we go. So I'm gonna take my weight and I'm gonna pop it between the layers on the bottom. The next thing we're gonna do is sew these pieces together. So I'm gonna take my needle, I'm gonna insert it through both loops of the stitch on the yellow piece. 
Now, I work with really, really long pieces of yarn when I'm sewing because I hate threading needles, but uh, do what I say, not what I do, and work with shorter pieces, they'll get less tangled. And then we're gonna match it up with just the back loop of the stitch on the shell itself. And pick up both loops, and then just the back loop. And we're gonna continue doing that the whole way around. Okay, so with your clamshell done, now we just need to attach the two pieces together. So making sure that your top and bottom piece are interlocking correctly and like lining up the way we want them to. You should see that we've got this straight edge along the back and that is where we're gonna hinge the two pieces together. So we're gonna take some of our outer shell color and stitching just through the outer loops along this edge. We are going to attach these two pieces together. just like that. So you'll notice that the yellow isn't joined together so it has left us with a very floppy lid at the moment. I'm just going to clean up the green. And now with a little of our yellow we're going to do the same thing on the inside. Again just working through those loops, those external loops. Now your shell should have the ability to sit completely closed, nicely lined up, as well as when it sits open it doesn't flop all the way back because those yellow stitches should stop it. Uh, if you're having trouble with this and you're comfortable with it, you could also try using a little bit of wire just to lock it into position, but I found that it doesn't really need it. Once again, we're just going to clean up these tails. It's always best to work cleanly and it stops you from having to weave like a thousand in when you're done. Okay, so there is the clam shell. So now what we need to do is just make the little clam to go in it. He consists of two main pieces, so he has a body piece and then he has two clammy little hands to grip that pearl. So we're going to start with the body and then we'll make the hands. Okay, so now we have our little oyster pieces. We're just going to do our final assembly. So first up, we are going to insert our eyes. Now, now the eyes go into row five on either side of the head. Then we need to give him a little bit of a stuff. So now I'm just going to insert my pearl. So the little head has a bit of a, an overhang and the pearl gets inserted underneath. Of course, if you are using a bead, you can just stitch it on. If you're using a pebble or like a plastic pearl, you can glue it on. But I am just, I'm using a safety eye, so I'm gonna clip mine on. <laughs> and I need to center it under that head, just like that. And lastly, I'm gonna position the hands on either side as though they are gripping it, which should be delightfully little and cute. That's for you, you get to keep that. And we're gonna stitch those on. What you up to, hun? Are you tired? Yeah, you did. You've got way more self-discipline than I do. It's my habit. Takes discipline to form habits.
and weave in all of your ends. All right, so now we've done that and that is all completely assembled and firm. If you are gluing anything on as your pearl, make sure you wait until the glue is dry before proceeding past this point. So we're going to first place him against the back of the bottom piece of the clam and just pin him in place there. It's about two rows down. And then working our way around, we're going to secure him. Get a hold of yourself, man. Uh, we're going to secure him down as close to the back of the bottom piece as we can, just to make sure that there is plenty of room for the clam itself to open and shut. So now I've just chucked a few pins in there. I'm going to just give it a test. All right, and you see how it just sits very comfortably, comfortably closed. It doesn't have to be like pushed down and it's not gaping open. That means that I've positioned my clam correctly. So there should be room for the whole piece to open and close. And now we are just going to stitch around the edge of our little clam to attach him to the shell. So note that I'm only stitching through one layer, so just through that top layer, and I'm using the same colour as my oyster. So being careful not to stitch through to the outside. And there is your finished clam. This is my favorite octopus from this week, created by cannibal under slash potato 11. Don't forget, you can tag me at complicated knots on Instagram and you might see your clam or octopus here next week. Okay, that's it for this week's video. Don't forget to tune in next week if you want to see how the lobster turns out. Uh, other than that, like if you liked it, comment if you've got something to say, subscribe and I will see you next week. Okay, bye. Something for the pearl. So I couldn't find anything really that Oh, the light's not on. We're going to try all that again.